Folks, hi there. Welcome to Collins Whitley Cocktail. Actually, not a good description because it's Collins Whitley Cocktails. Uh, we're going to do two this time and uh, experimenting on a theme. Essentially based on cherry bakewells. Um, I have to say it's been a great week so far. We're experimenting with our rum, we're experimenting with our strawberry and black pepper gin, and I've been experimenting with two different uh, cocktails, a gin one and a vodka one. Great job. Um, so, without further ado, let's crack on. As I say, based on a cherry bakewell type um, recipe, there are lots of uh, bakewell uh, martinis, bakewell cocktails uh, out there on the internet. This is my take on it. Um, so, let's see what we can do. I've charged up my shakers with ice, um, so here we go. First ingredient, raspberry and vanilla gin. Double measure. In it goes. Next one, amaretto. Single measure. Simple syrup, in other words, 50% uh, sugar, 50% water, no problem at all. I've decided that caramel syrup goes very well after experimentation. Single measure of that, thank you very much. Penultimate one is, um, is the cherry, yes, cherry. Um, they look very similar, the bottles. Cherry liqueur, single measure, thank you very much. And last but not least, lime. Another single measure of lime. So there we go. Let's give that a good shake. Now I'm going to do a double strain into, uh, well it should be a martini glass, that was the original intention, but for reasons I'll go into later, uh, I'm going to do it into a margarita glass. I'm going to double strain it. In this version, the amaretto really shines through uh, with regards to the colouring. There we go. I'm going to put these aside, just give them a little bit of a wash for the next one. And let me put this front and centre. So as you can see, it's got quite an amaretto uh, influence with the colouring there. Um, so the next one is the vodka based one. Uh, and I'm going to use one and a half measures of vodka, vanilla vodka it is. Then I'm going to go on to a measure of orgia, which essentially is almond syrup. Raspberry was in the gin, now it's in the liqueur. And this is the reason why I'm using slightly less of the main spirit, one and three quarters, one and a half of the vodka, because I'm having two of the liqueurs. One of the raspberry. cherry. Don't forget lime juice. One measure of. So there we go. Again, double strain into my glass. So why the margarita glass? Well, it's actually quite a high volume cocktail, but it's still short. It's still essentially just the spirit. However, we found that these actually go very well after being topped up. So as you can see, this one has more of the raspberry cherry coloration but if you wish you can just do a little top with either soda water lemonade lengthens a little bit and uh, in doing so because they're quite heavy on the alcohol you'll find that it maybe just makes it a little bit more of a, a long sipping type of drink and um, so the first one 
the gin, which I have to say is probably my favourite of the two. Nice and smooth. Secondly, the vodka. I have to say, although they are very different drinks, as you can see, they taste remarkably similar because they've still got the, the raspberries and the almonds, etc. Um, so, folks, I just hope you enjoy both of them and uh, we'll see you next week.